All right, now, what have we decided? Have we been able to rotate this picture so it looks like this picture? Are they identical yet? They're still not identical. All the atoms are in the right places, but the bonds between the nitrogens are still not in the right places. For example, in this picture, these two nitrogens are bound to each other on the left. But these two nitrogens are not bound to each other on the left. And now we've really given it the old college try. We've done the most we possibly could. We saw that when um, the first chlorine was on top, when we rotated the second chlorine into this position, the bindings between the nitrogens were in the wrong place. And then we went the extra mile, and we rotated the other chlorine on top. And when the other chlorine's on top, then we can rotate this chlorine so that these are in the right position. But still, the nitrogen bondings are in the wrong position. So there's really nothing else to try. We've been systematic and tried everything. So what's the relationship between these two pictures? Optical isomers. These are optical isomers. They're both cis, by the way, right? Something's optical isomer is always the same type of geometrical isomer as it was. They're both cis. So if they asked you on this problem to draw all the isomers, if they asked you to draw all the isomers of this compound, how many pictures should you end up with? If they ask you to draw all the, um, all the isomers of this compound. Two plus two and this, but. Well, let's uh, back up for a second. First of all, um, we now we should erase these pictures, right? Because these are identical to each other, um, right? These were just the same molecule being flipped and rotated. We don't want to have two identical pictures. Remember, these were just, so what we, um, where did this picture come from? It came from rotating this. So what's the relationship between these two pictures? Identical. So we don't want to include both of them in our final answer. Okay. Uh, do you have this in your notes now? Can I erase this? Yeah. So I'll now I'll erase this. And what was the relationship between these two pictures? Rotated. So they're identical. They're identical. Yeah. So again, we shouldn't include both of them in our final okay. answer. This was just work that we did to check whether we could rotate this to look like this. Okay. So I need to erase this as well. What's the relationship between these two pictures? Those are optical isomers. These are the optical isomers. And how do we know they're not identical? Because we worked really hard to try to rotate this to look like this, and we couldn't do it. We saw that no matter how hard we tried to rotate this to look like this, we couldn't get them to be identical. So we know these are non-identical mirror images. So should I erase this? No, this really is a different compound. So does this compound have an optical isomer? Yes. So we need to include both of these. You don't seem too happy about that? No, I'm not happy about oh. that. I'm like, lost. Yeah, I guess, well, we were running out of time. I guess I tried to go through this stuff um, a little bit too fast. So, so is there ever going to be a case where if we rotate it, like, one time, we're going to have to keep going and that's certainly theoretically possible yes that way? what we did here is we carefully made sure um, so yeah you could take more than one rotation to make things identical what we did here is I tried to show how we were being systematic and covering all the possibilities but right. I got to admit it's not easy to, to yeah. keep track of all of those but it is possible though that it would be like that's why we that's why we had to do more than one rotation could yes possibly end up being it identical. could just be that your first rotation isn't enough okay. after all uh, so imagine taking a picture of my hand all right, now, um, now imagine taking a picture of my hand. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to rotate it. It still doesn't look like the first picture. It still doesn't look like the first picture. It still doesn't look like the first picture. There's lots of rotations you can do, and they might still not look identical until you finally get the exact right rotation so that okay. they look identical. Um, so it's a hard skill yeah. to, um, to see whether you've done enough rotations to prove this. So now, I think, though, that the problem we just did is the upper level of difficulty that you would need to do. I don't know whether, um, I think that you might be given problems on the test where it's easier or more obvious to see whether things are opt uh, identical or not, um, because these are pretty hard skills. Uh, mm -hmm. These would be very difficult for most students to get through on their own. So I, I want to do a high difficulty level problem to show all the different ins and outs, but okay. you, you might not always need to do problems quite this hard. All the so what did we learn here? Everything has a mirror image. But not everything has a non-identical mirror image. So not everything has an optical isomer. By the way, these are called enantiomers. Enantiomers are non-identical mirror images. That's an important concept in organic chemistry. This concept has an enantiomer because it has a non-identical, this molecule has an enantiomer because it has a non-identical mirror image. But we saw that this molecule does not have an enantiomer. These videos are offered on a pay what you like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is 
www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm. Or you can just use the link in the info box. Thank you.